Welcome back to the channel fellow witches and wizards. In the spirit of this video I will be using a British voiceover. Hope you enjoy my tour of the Cauldron Pub Magical Experience in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We were one short. However her contribution to more drinks did not go wasted, that is for sure. But my bridesmaids and maid of honor, who are all my closest female friends, joined me this magical afternoon in celebration of my bachelorette party. Both terms are considered loosely, since most women would not expect or desire to spend their bachelorette party at a wizard-themed pub. But I suppose I am not most women, am I? But alas, join us as we dive deep into a slice of British witchcraft and wizardry brought here to Philly. Speaking of my wedding party, here we are on our special day last month. Viewers of my channel may remember my Hilton Beach and engagement video posted in 2021. Here is also more proof I am not your average caffeinated owl. Can I just say, Team Hufflepuff? Absolutely. That is all. Our special table we reserved was for potion making. Potion meaning the drinks. Whether it be a alcohol-free mocktail or a full-on adult cocktail. Beginning steps were us following the instructions to open this little Lord of the Rings type house to get our mixing supplies out. Needless to say we fooled with it first before actually seeking out the proper instructions. We were instructed by our lovely potions master to start off with our first drink by choosing past, present or future, in the form of a unicorn with a magical button, which we would use our wands, given to us when we checked in, to press the special buttons which dispense our yummy beverages.
I chose present, which was a vodka, red wine, passion fruit juice, orange juice and simple syrup. Once of the best tasting drinks I had all day. And the color was so beautiful looking. We finally opened the Lord of the Rings inspired house and started our potion making. I am seen here asking the owl for some guidance. As I am not good at mixing drinks, I am also not used to being recorded. Especially as much as today. Here we are following the steps to make a lavender drink. Our potion's reservation was to make three drinks. The one after this was more fruity and floral combined. I would say was my second favorite drink behind the one from the unicorn earlier. I did not record it, but we used a mortar and pestle, from the little house on the table, and smashed our own herbs that went into our concoction. They instruct you at the cauldron to raise your wand in the air when needing assistance from your potions master and or anything else you need during your experience. Here. Can I interest you in a glass of owl? Clearly I do not know how to use this cocktail strainer. Oh geez. Please help me. Told you I did not know what I was doing. And now for the secret ingredient. Just kidding. This one here changes color from a deep blue purple to a bright pink purple. The light underneath is supposed to highlight it but makes it hard to show the color transition. I show it better later.
They also had food on one of the menus. The options are limited to only a few things but this mac and cheese was small but mighty. Very very tasty indeed. And of course our afternoon would not be complete without a smoking cauldron. I mean, cauldron is in the name of the pub, am I right? Let us also take a moment to admire these magnificent owl glasses. My lovely maid of honor. Now pay attention. Watch the magic happen. Did you see it? This was an amazing afternoon spent with some of the best people doing one of the things I love. It was only a few hours but felt like a whole day passed us by. So many memories from the short time we had. It was a fantastic day and shall I say, magical. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. Is the cauldron near you? Do you plan on checking it out or have you already been? Let me know your thoughts. As always, thanks for watching and may the force be with you. Hold on that's not it. Live long and prosper. Wait.